Instagram. It all went a bit tits up. I was only over there to say, come over to YouTube, but we ended up talking about erections. Um, well, well, no, I said that, that an American I worked with once said, I'm super pumped. And, and you, I think that did. always sounds like they've got an erection. It's like, can you keep it to yourself? No, I don't. I think it sounds like they've got one of those pumpers. Well, that's what I mean. Yeah, yeah. I'm super pumped. Oh, no, don't say that. Yeah, don't be it's super pumped. It's got wrong connotations. Mm. And then you moved on to erections. Well, no, because I said I always think it means that they're talking about an erection. I don't like it. I'm super pumped. Sorry, we've gone or, straight or in. Even if you're just super pumped anyway, like you're pumped. It's like, oh, no, can we not be? Can we just go at things slowly? I well, don't want to be super pumped. Yeah, but, because what if I don't feel super pumped and yeah. you do? Well, me and Miranda, would off, we, we both filmed with this person and we were like, God, they're super pumped. How are they going to be when we walk through the door? I know. You know? In a way, being super pumped is quite controlling. If you say to someone, I'm super pumped, you're like, oh God, that means I've got to be. Yeah. I don't want to be. Yeah. And what about if you're super excited? I don't want that. Mm. I've had it said to me a lot of times, Mark, before a job, and you're just like, oh God, what sort of a Well, day no, I mean, I, I've always said that as soon as someone says excited, we're going to have lots of fun, it's a guarantee. Oh God, I go, oh my God, don't. No, we're going to have a shit time. That's like you cardboard straws. When someone says Please don't to you, say cardboard straws, Mark. Please don't. I remember us walking straws. on to Mr. and Mrs. and someone said, you're going to have so much fun. And I looked at them and said, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really, and we didn't. I'm really not. And we didn't. And I said, please don't get me to wave like this. Charlotte P says, yeah, it makes you feel pressure to feel it too. We don't want to be pumped up. We don't want to be super excited. And we can wait. Yeah, I don't want to have fun. Like I don't want to be told I'm going to have fun. It's like, come on, guys. When you go to a party to have like a great time, it rarely delivers. But when you're out with friends, or certainly when I used to be out with friends, having a nice time, and it turns into a party, you have fun. Mind you, there are some people that can say it to me. I'm just thinking, and I do always think, yeah, it will be really good. It's just like you don't want a stranger. Like, somebody you're going to be working... I mean, it's different for us because we're self-employed. So you're always working with different people in different situations. And so somebody that you've not met, you don't know if you're going to like them. They go, oh, I'm super pumped. I'm super excited. Well, I can't wait I to have a day with, with you. And you think... Well, to be fair to this person, he built half of the Millennium Falcon. So I'd be super pumped if I'd done that. Oh, that was nice. I suppose if there's a power situation, like if somebody is more powerful than you yeah. say like you're going to meet a movie star yeah and they say to you i'm super pumped i'm super excited yeah well actually now i'd have a terrible fear of failure then. well i'm thinking of i'd go oh my god i'm gonna get there and i'm not gonna be awful and you're not gonna like me well why don't we contact jared letter and say we're super pumped to meet him why don't we do that super pumped super pumped but do you think him? it means anything to americans like if one american says to another america i'm super pumped one american what would that be as two english what would be the equivalent of two english i'll tell you exactly British what people? it is really nice to meet you <laughs> <laughs> really nice to meet you Whiff. how's I, your journey <laughs> i see i'd rather have super pumped yeah i've gone back i now. think I i'd rather be pumped. super pumped because i love almost everything about americans compared to us I love how over polite they are. I love it, love it, love it. I love all of that. It's just I get scared when they're super pumped. Clodagh Egan, for some reason, has been humming the birdie song all morning. <laughs> I love your it's random okay. comments. Don't worry. Do you know what? Actually, what? singing and humming is really good to activate your vagus nerve, which we know helps to calm down our parasympathetic system. Is it called <laughs> Carapentatic. What's it called? Somebody you know. What's it called? Paris. Paris. My yoga know. teacher's always talking about it. What is it? Somebody tell me quickly. One of you knows. Can I just Come say, on. Say, Come, me, on. Me Come on. Come on. Me Tube's made an interesting observation whilst you find out me what that word is. Know. Parasympathetic. Parasympathetic. Para, para, parasympathetic. Thank you, girls. Yeah. Thank you. Me Tube says, says falcons live for about 20 years, so every falcon alive today is a millennial falcon oh my god now that Me i'm gonna you. bore people with that i love That's your so bonkers good. brain yeah i do too uh richard kavanagh i haven't seen you for a while Hope you're oh well. hang on who's going off to the gym to pump pete o'sullivan well, is oh, yeah. maybe then off to went maybe off. went off to gym pump it up maybe went off go to gym Maybe, are up. you going to the pump? <laughs> <laughs> We've got confused now. Fucking Who's hell. pumping who? Who's some poop? <laughs> Who's some <pooped>? pooped? <laughs> Is anyone here some pooped? <laughs> oh. 
So what does the parasympathetic mean? I think it's like your nervous system, isn't it? Oh, it's not the fucking so the vagus, vagus nerve. nerve. Oh, calms God. the parasympathetic. Oh, and Mark! That's deodorant, you stupid boy. You've got asthma. It, I heard Mark, somewhere. you're going to have an asthma I heard attack. somewhere that it helps your, ba Mark, it helps your vagus nerve. Right, if there are any children watching, please don't eat your spray deodorant. <laughs> Mark! Mark! Stop it! It's very, very, very silly. <sighs> yeah. Did you actually put that in your mouth? I'm super pumped. Oh, God. It's fumigating. I hate the word fun, and I'm not particularly fond, I might fond of parasympathetic. <laughs> Selena Lou Flog says she might, she might pump it up in the gym today. <laughs> pump it up. I've been going to wait. There's that song, guys. isn't it? Oh, pump, God. pump. No. What's that song? Pump, pump it up. Pump it good. Pump it low. Pump it high. <laughs> pump it round. Pump it, pump it. Come you on, somebody get it. us the lyrics of pump it. Yo, pump it. Pump it. Pump it good. <laughs> <laughs> I was feeling a bit down before this live. Pump it low. What's pump that? it high. <laughs> pump it. Pump, oh, what is it? Pump. Do, do. <laughs> Go pump it loud, pump it, do. Mm, pump, pump, pump up the jam, pump up the jam. jam. What's that about? Raspberry or strawberry? See if you can get it on here, we need to hear it. We're not going to hear it, but we can read pump the lyrics. Pump it real good. That's it, Jackie Valino. Pump it real good by Elvis Costello. It's not Elvis Costello. That's what they're saying. Pump up the jam, pump it up while your feet are stomping. I don't, and I the think jam you've got is two pumping. things conflated. Look ahead, the crowd is jumping. Pump it up a little more, get the party going on the dance floor. See, because that's okay, where the party's at. And you'll now find out if you do that. Dance. Pump. Pump it up. <laughs> pump it good. <laughs> All there right, go. that's enough for that. All right, okay. Anna Charolumbus, you look pumped today. <laughs> we both went for our second weight training session yesterday. <sighs> I feel like, whenever I do that, I feel oh like SpongeBob. Oh, God. With nothing Honest in it. to God. Who goes regularly to the gym? It's hard. It's really hard. But I will say that I'm actually quite pleased that I'm stronger than I thought it was going to be because of the because of my yoga. I've actually built a bit of muscle. So I just saw us doing that. What a pair of absolute, absolute prunes. Um, it's dips, by dips. it's by Salt and Pepper apparently. Oh. Do you remember Salt and Pepper? Oh, Julie Everett says she prefers I've got a lovely bunch of coconuts. I've got, got a, a lovely, lovely bunch, bunch of coconuts. coconuts. Come on, everybody. I've oh, got them right that? here, right here. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God you went to them. Um, well, there you go. Saturday morning, guys. We're at the we're at the we're in the foothills of a heat wave, apparently. It's going to be a heat wave this weekend. It's going to be hotter than Ibiza. Trala La goes to the gym in our garage. Now, that is hardcore. Is, that is hardcore. Because I couldn't do that. Like, <sighs> I have, you know how long I've been banging on about doing weights. <sighs> and I've got a pile of weights over there. I pick them up by myself. And on the fifth one of that, I'm just going, oh my God, I'm so bored. And I stop. But in a gym, because you've got other people doing it. My God, some girls have got amazing bums, haven't they? I don't know. They do people. lots of bum exercises. Is it Apparently, right? Apparently, all the personal trainers are saying that's all people are coming in now saying they want big thighs. The girls want big thighs and big bums. Did you see that post a while back on Instagram where a woman in a tight leotard was doing a squat with weights and there was a man behind her and he didn't look, he wasn't looking and she said thank you for not looking. At her thank bottom. You for not looking. Yeah, because it's when you're in a gym, it's really hard just not to look at other people and sort of like because you're in a room with lots of people, aren't you? Yeah. And then when someone who comes in who, I don't know, is is I don't know, scantily clad or something like that. I act it's distracting. Well, no, I actively force myself to look in the opposite direction. I end up knocking yeah. things over. Well, I said there was a girl in Out the of respect. There was a girl in the gym yesterday, and I said to Mark, you saw the Amazonian blonde? And he went, no. no <laughs> went, no, what? I didn't. No, I didn't. How could you have not seen her? She was everywhere. She was just well, she everywhere. Wasn't, she wasn't, wasn't anywhere near me. She wasn't but, trying to impress me. <laughs> <laughs> but obviously, I made, I made a mistake yesterday in that I looked at people. And because wow. I looked at people, I felt more uh, insecure. So the first, like on Tuesday, I went, I didn't look at a single person. Well, don't at... look at me. I don't want you to look at me. 
Because oh. I look stupid. Oh, fucking hell. Don't, Mark, don't look at me. I, said, I can't look at anyone. No. Well, you can look at other people, but just don't look at me. I look at other men and I'm intimidated. I'm intimidated by everyone, <laughs> but I'm getting there. But what I would say is I am so glad I'm doing it in a gym because I've never, I've never stuck to it, have I? Mm, no. I can do my yoga. I'm really disciplined with that. We walk, disciplined with walking, but no. Weight training, I need somebody helping me because otherwise I just, I, I get bored. Can we just have a clarification of, uh, of details here? Pump up the jam is actually by Technotronic. Thank you. Push It is by Salt and Pepper. And Pump, push it, it, pump it Up is by Elvis Costello. But which is the one that says, push it real good? That's Salt and Pepper's Push It. We'll have to listen to them afterwards. Well, no, I know that one. I used to have it as a seven-inch I, want, seven I want that because I want to dance to it in the morning. Okay. The, I, I'm, I tell you what, the sun has really cheered me up. And I was trying to control myself this morning because I know that will just... So, A, the sun has depressed me, and then me being happy about the sun will make everything worse. So I've been trying to control myself all morning. It's a lovely day. <laughs> Why is that? Is that because the sun has got his hat on? And he's coming out to play. The sun has got if his you hat could on. Have, hip, hip, hip. <gasps> if you could have a relationship with any space item, like, a, you know, planet or globe in space which one would you have it'd probably well, be the sun a wouldn't it stupid question well you see i think i'd have a relationship with venus oh only because it sounds like vagina <laughs> you'd have <laughs> you'd have a relationship with uranus mark no. <laughs> for god's sake it wasn't the grass that tickled my mark grass. stop when you used to sing that i thought it was strange have you got a pen no well, I need Have to you? get a pen. Mark. I no, can't move. My legs hurt too much. I can't move either. I want to write something down. A bar, a code, a code. I can't. Well, oh God, just go and get a pen. Oh, you pen. What do you mean you can't? God, I can't move. <laughs> I actually can't move. I'm so... I've got, I've got, as Lee said, oh, you know what you've got? You've got DMS. What's that? Delayed muscle soreness. <laughs> Okay, right. I think we better do something sensible. Well, okay. Let me find something sensible. Um, the Russian... Why do Russian... Well, because it's a different... Oh, language. sorry. Oh, fucking hell. Sausages. Jesus Christ. Are you super pumped? <laughs> Sausages. Super pumped. Um, I like... Oh, I thought you couldn't get up. Oh. You just put your dangly bit in your teeth. Uh. Um, I prefer the word cosmonaut to astronaut. Do you? I don't care. Right. Um, <laughs> the cosmonauts, this is really brave because the Russians have said that due to sanctions, the International Space Station could be left to crash into Earth. Sorry, we're we boring you. Sorry. <laughs> no, just, uh, let's do the news. There's sausages and now you're texting someone. Cosmonauts and astronauts. No, like hang on, them. hang on. Cosmonauts. <laughs> so remember the International Space Station oh, was, was going to crash band? into the Earth. Cosmonauts. Hang what did on. they sing? Mark. The cosmonauts. I don't know. Who were the cosmonauts? Space Mountain. What was the famous song that the cosmonauts, cosmonauts sang? Zoe Griffith says, love that song. What was the famous cosmonauts song? I, was there a famous there cosmonauts a song? <laughs> the Do you know what a cosmonaut is? Guess. Is it something? I mean, it's obviously something to do with space. Well, they go into the cosmos. Are they astronauts? Yeah, of course they are. So hang on, just let me get this one sentence out before we go down the cosmonaut. So Russian cosmonauts, obviously, that's what Russian astronauts are, have gone up to the International Space Station. You're thinking of the communards, says Haley. Oh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me why. Ah, ah, you went down. Tell me why. Ah, What's that Donna Summer? What's the Donna no, Summer? Donna Summer. Summer. Yeah. I feel that's love. The yeah, they did I it. Feel oh, love. Didn't they? Didn't they sing? Cause I will walk one hundred. That's the Proclaimers. <laughs> <laughs> we're talking. We're talking the Communards. <laughs> the Proclaimers are two brothers with blonde hair and gloves. Right, I'm really confused. We've got the Communards, the Cosmonauts, the. Proclaimers. Proclaimers and Donna Summer. What the fuck are we talking about? Did Jimmy Somerville and Bronski B, or the Communards, do a cover of Donna Summer? Don't leave me this, this way. way. So who was 
Alexa. I can't survive. survive. Can't stay alive. Oh. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> Hang on. No. Attack. You really are. And have you got any asthma pumps nearby? No. I've got my neck. <laughs> Don't leave me this way. I can't <laughs> survive. I can't Can stay, stay alive. alive. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to get the pen. <laughs> Get it with my toes, Mark. Yeah, well, my neck, no, my you, back. Use my... your left foot. No, hang on, I've got it. Oh, look. <laughs> so, cosmonauts aren't even a band. There is no band. No, no, it's the communards. I love the way they know our brains so well that somebody actually said, No, you're thinking of the communards. Linda <laughs> Tyler, Nads would be rubbish in a music quiz. Oh my God, don't. I'm rubbish in every quiz. I never know any. Well, I know it, no, but you I don't. just never say it. It's that in means there. You don't know it. <laughs> <laughs> That's the definition of not knowing it. Might be in Mark, there somewhere, but you can't say it. Mark, I do know if it. It's that just. Comes <laughs> <out>. <laughs> I do know it. It's just I have a problem remembering it. Go and sort your fucking sausages out. <laughs> Michelle Benny, going well staying on topic this morning. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, do you want to hear about the cosmonauts? No, I fucking don't. Oh, because they're being very brave. Oh, go on then. So the cosmonauts in the International Space Station that Russia have claimed they could allow to crash into Earth, bear that in mind, I don't want to know this. This yeah. sounds like more bad news. No, Russian cosmonauts went up wearing the colours of Ukraine <gasps> as a protest against the Russian invasion. No! How risky is that? Oh Three Russian my cosmonauts God. arrived at the International Space Station in flight suits made in yellow and blue of the Ukrainian flag <laughs> in what appeared to be a <laughs> daring <laughs> statement <laughs> against the war. <sighs> <sighs> Melanie Williams. I hope they let them stay on the ISS. They'll be sent straight to the Gulag if they land back now. Absolutely. Exactly. Let's hope. Let's hope they stay safe. Huh? Hey. Let's hope they do. Let's hope that they allow oh them my. to come back. Maybe they don't want to like come back to Earth. That's actually a fantastic story. I'm glad you bruised through to tell me that. Yeah, I'd have been annoyed know. with you if you hadn't told that story. Yeah. So there you go. Oleg Artemyev, Denis Matviev, and Sergei Korsakov. Heroes. Blasted off from Kazakhstan for a six month stay. So, hopefully, by the time they come back, it'll all be over. In an extraordinary move, the, the three new arrivals emerged from their capsule wearing wow. bright yellow jumpsuits with blue stripes. Wow. Wow. That is incredible. What do you think of that? I'm moved by that, actually. Yeah. I'm seriously moved by their bravery yes. and wow. So, you've, wow. you've tonally okay. shifted, haven't you? I'm moved. So it's not a band called the Cosmonauts. You got that? Yeah? Have you calmed down? Yes. I've calmed down. Mark, Mark, I'm I'm not kidding you. I haven't got time for you to have an asthma attack. <coughs> Mark, it's horrible. Stop it. Right, give it to me. It's a bit out of your hands. That's definitely put the communards to shame, says Mechu. Right. Tra -la, la I wish you could pop up wee pictures up while you're telling the news. It's funny you should say that. Yes. We're looking at some tech Our that allows Jordan us to do that. Our friend Jordan has told us yeah. that with But it was so fiddly it. that we'd have ended up in a little box in the top right and you wouldn't have seen us at all. Um, but you're right, we're looking into it. We need to do what um, uh, John Campbell does, just have a half the screen that just... Be... I don't understand how he does it then. I don't know, how does he? Maybe we should contact John's him and so ask him. John's so clever. He's so clever. All right. John. All right. Um, this was a bit shorter. I can't see it. Have you seen this, guys? Look. It's an, a it's an actual heart. heart. Mark bought me it. Yeah. He didn't put it in his mouth, says Ellery Jones. What? Didn't put what in his mouth? Sausages and someone else. What's going on, guys? I'm just, <laughs> just reading various things. I need Viagra. Oh, no, Valium. Sorry, Gabrielle. I need Valium. I thought you were going to say you I need Valium. <laughs> Um, Nanny dies here. Go and get some fat. <laughs> Look, make a note of that. Use open broadcast studio. Jot it down. Open. You wanted the pen. Use it. 
Come on. Open Don't broadcast start showing studio. off because there's people here. Open broadcast studio. Thank you. Yeah, it'd be so nice to do photos. Yeah, it would. Really okay. Would. Especially of coconuts. Right. Who's, who's noticed there's an oil sh potential? Well, there is an oil shortage, but mm. the oil price is going up at the pump. So um, people are issuing advice on how to uh, avoid what my mate at the local gas station says it's going to be an absolute, I'm going to swear, guys, clusterfuck come June. I get confused between oil and gas. Oil and, and gas. Petrol. Gas is gas is air. Yeah, because you keep oil is, when, is... when you say the gas... Yeah. So oil. No, this is this is petrol. petrol pumps. Yeah, exactly. Because you're petrol. saying oil. Because some people's houses are run by oil. Yeah, it's oil. You mean petrol? Petrol and oil. Well, petrol, thing. petrol is a sort of refined version of oil that, yeah. that we can use. But people to drive might our think cars. you're talking about oil that they run their houses with. No, I'm I'm, the, I'm not talking about sunflower oil. <laughs> I'm not talking about extra virgin olive oil. <laughs> I mean, what are you talking about? Pet oil that goes in petrol. <laughs> Um, no, 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 but listen to it's this. It's just boring. Listen to it's this. It's going to all be bad news. No, listen to this. The, uh, what they're called? The International, uh, 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 what's the IEA? Oh, International Energy Agency has said, oh, look at my glasses. <laughs> we, need, we need to do these things okay, to preserve serious. our oil consumption. Oh, yeah, I saw this. Um, and it, there's a lot of things there. Uh, we can actively do. Yeah, exactly. Um, so business flights should be, should be stopped. Public transport should be made cheaper or free to encourage motorists not to set off in Absolutely. their cars. What do you think of that? Absolutely. I think they could do with that in London, I tell you. Yeah. Um, motorists should set their condi air conditioning systems three degrees centigrade warmer to cut fuel usage. Because obviously the colder you want the inside of your car, the more fuel you're using. Uh, this well, is a really, you shouldn't use air policy. conditioning at all in this country. No, if it's, a bit, if it's too hot, just open the window. Yeah. Um, one of the other measures is it, working from home three days a week. Again, uh, it's been proven successful in many cases to save about 500,000 barrels a day. Wow. Yeah, that's amazing. Wow. So, you know, we might need to, this, inadvertently, this could force us to become energy efficient and, uh, you know, and have look, renewables. And look, cut speed by 10 kilometres per hour saves 290,000 exactly. barrels exactly. a day. Exactly, um, exactly. Quite something, isn't it? Uh, Car-free Sundays in cities could save about 380,000 barrels a day. So if you, if you just had people working from home for three days a week and you had car-free Sundays, you'd be saving nearly a million barrels of, of oil. Speed, yeah, speed limits should be cut. Car sharing would be mm -hmm. a good idea. I mean, that's something that's a big thing in America. You have, they have what they call pool car lanes on the motorways yeah. down there. Well, you, you can, can go faster if you've got other people in yeah, the car. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so I think, don't you think some of these are good ideas? Opening a window burns more petrol as well tomorrow day, does it? Does it? Is that because there's a drag on the car? Really? Really? Good That's God. interesting. Um, so yeah, so these are some of the thoughts. So just to say, there may be a bit of a pump shortage. A oh, pump shortage? <laughs> Back on the pumps. Why so, are you talking super pump, about pumps? Oil pumps. Petrol pumps. My mate down the road says, be warned, June's going to get tricky. So, um, so yeah. Who likes a heat wave? Yeah. Do you like a heat wave? UK set to be hotter than Ibiza this weekend as Brits prepare for mini heat wave. Apparently Blossom everywhere is deciding whether Trouble it's going to come Ibiza out this weekend. Ibiza might be having some really shit weather this weekend, we don't know. That's a good point. It could be, un <laughs> it could be unseasonably <laughs> cold. <laughs> That's true. So they think that temperatures are going to soar. They always use this word soar and I think it's overused. I'm wearing a dress in anticipation. Are you wearing knickers though? Mark. Because if you're not, I'm super pumped. <laughs> <laughs> um, temperatures are going to rise as high as 17 degrees centigrade. Who's currently in a hot situation? <laughs> Who's currently... What are you doing? Just turning the charger on. Oh. Yeah. Are you hot? Perfect temperature, are as you? always. All right. Is that, that's because you've got your skirt lifted up. <laughs> She's waving her legs around. Um, it's fab here in Wicklow, says Cloder. The sun is a spark of joy, says Sally. Charlotte P, don't, who doesn't like the sunny weather? Say yes if you don't like the sunny weather. Hot in Yorkshire, says so unique. Um, Are you a little bit cheered that it's sunny today, though? Oh, I wish it'd piss off. Well, really, you'd like us to be going out in rain? No, I don't want it to piss off for anyone else. Because the girls love it. I know too. you all love it. Try and pretend you're happy about it today for the girls. 
Why, of course I won't. I will. <laughs> <laughs> Lovely and sunny in Dorset. Susie Othman, yes, doesn't like it. Leila Bazard. Uh, Louise Pritchard's with us. Uh, sausage, sausages. sausages, thanks, Beth. I've turned them off. Yes. <laughs> Why are we always like this? <laughs> uh, only I'm in bed. Someone says 50 50 with the sun, says Becky Fithian. Um, yeah, so there's a heat wave. So take care, guys. Use should you use suntan lotion in this weather? I don't yeah, know. Yeah, you should use suntan lotion should you? all the time. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I've got Biden and China in there. Let's fuck that off. Yeah, yeah we've had a laugh instead. We don't want a war we with Russia. We don't need to misery. We don't, <laughs> we don't misery. need to make ourselves miserable. Um, and I wanted to. I was going to talk about. Uh, it's an interesting story that just grabbed my attention just for a moment of, of seriousness. William Hurt, the actor who died this week, great actor. Oh, Oscar I didn't know winner. he died. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He died this week. Oh. And so obviously he's been garlanded with lots of lots of remembrances and tributes from people in the industry. But this was an interesting story because his ex uh, experienced domestic abuse at his hands, oh. as did another ex. And, oh and no! It, it was a curious one for me Poor because things. you end up in the remembrance of someone, it ends yeah. up compounding the problem for someone. So that's why of I popped in the title "Sins of the Day." Because Dead. if somebody if somebody is being you know um, heralded, yes, and Championed. fawned upon mm. and all of that must be very hard if it yeah. because often people that are living within an abusive relationship behind closed doors often mm. that person who's abusing whether it's a man or incredibly charming to the mm. outside world mm. absolutely yeah. and i think yeah so it's just that so interesting thing that there's always more than one perspective even so on had the, they on brought the cases against him no but they no, they didn't, but it was a former girlfriend. She's written about it in the past. It wow. started in 1977, um, and she talks about... Yeah, I mean, it's not like a recent... Okay, you know, yeah. and I think, I think she sadly might be the second person that experienced it. I think she was a girlfriend and his wife did too. Um, so, you know, it's that weird thing, isn't it? It's, it's, it's ch championing and, and, you know, and, and you know regaling the person for their professional achievements then in their domestic life mm. it can be quite a different story um she wrote a memoir uh someone wrote a memoir called unmasked memoirs of a gorilla girl on tour detailed a relationship with the actor which began in mm. 77 so yeah like, so there's always that <coughs> sort of thing and i just wondered you know they often it's talk it's about it's sin, it's sins of the fathers and, yeah. and sins of the dead and all that um uh good ship lollipop rest in peace or rotten hell Different perspectives for different people, mm. absolutely. Um, people are asking, what time is the No Name Sunday show tomorrow? Um, it might be a slightly different format tomorrow, we haven't decided, but what time? We might, it might be like the classic No Name Sunday yeah. show, but we might do something completely different. Mm. So just don't it come with any expectations, because well, we don't know what we're going to do. One thing we can guarantee is total madness. <clears throat> and I'll tell you what we'll do, we haven't quite decided on the time. It's usually around 11 o'clock-ish. 11, 12, but we will post on the community page where that will be, at uh, what time it will be, and there will be a Members Live happening over the weekend at some point. It, it might be a diff slightly different Members Live, you never know. Um, so guys, have a lovely Saturday. Oh, Uber Madness. Yeah, sorry, no, Uber Madness, that's a great story. A woman got drunk and booked an Uber, which co would, would have cost her or cost her four and a half thousand pounds to go to Ukraine. Oh, I'm quite surprised it was only four and a half thousand pounds. Know, it cost that just to go to West, West Wickham. <laughs> Um, no, yeah. but, yeah. Yeah, so Uber madness. Can you imagine that? So in a very drunken state, she booked an Uber to go to the border of Ukraine to help, bless her, but the Uber would have charged her £4,500. She didn't have to pay it, did she? I don't know, actually. I don't know about that bit. God. I mean, did an Uber driver take the job? <laughs> can you imagine getting that job and going, yes. <laughs> Quite something. All right, guys. And, guys, can you check out um, my sister, Dina, at Art by Box? Um, they are doing, they're doing a little craft fair today. They're part of craft fair up at Crystal Palace. So if anyone's local to that and wants to pop in today, that'd be great. But if not, if you could please, please go to her um, Instagram page at Art by Box and share the post that I've done there and maybe follow the other um, uh, crafters and things that I've tagged in. Because small businesses, and I know some of you have small businesses, are finding it really hard at the moment. And it gives such a lift. Just even a follow mm. to their page gives such a lift. So I'd really, really appreciate it. So if you could go to at Art by Box and share her info about... Because, uh, like, she rang me this morning. She went, I wish me luck for today. And I was like, oh, my God, you forget how mm. important these things are because mm. they pay rents. Mm. And it's like, really, literally, will mm. we make the rent? So mm. just sharing something... Mm. 
even if you can't go, or even just turning up and having a look around, even if you don't buy something, may, makes uh, the world of difference to these small businesses. So at Art by Bob's, if you could check it out, like the post and share it, that'd be amazing. Um, and Steph Schultz is suggesting <coughs> maybe a member's live from the garden. I think we need to do a member's live from Yeah, but haven't else. we always struggled with the... Um... Well, you just can't have the monitor. We can't see the comments. We have to do them on there and they go up quite fast. Ah. I think you should do a member's live on the loo. No. Would you like one from the loo? Obviously... Could we do a members live wandering around the garden showing them what a shit, it, a shit hole it is? No, because we've got a green-fingered hell coming. Oh, okay. Yeah, to show all the shit. All right. Love okay, you guys, lots. lots of